Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, this is Dan Permaculture. All right, in in this video, just a you know a tour. I've been giving you guys a tour, a, you know, kind of a full tour of the garden. So you know, I'm, I came out here. I was actually picking some. These are the the matinga strawberry fruit or strawberry cherry. Do some do a video while I'm I'm out here. All right, so let's get into the video show you what's, what the garden is looking in fall all right this is we won't be looking at the leafy greens i recently did a video that i'm going to be showing more like the fruit trees and you know stuff that's happening around the the food forest all right let's get into it all right so let's let's start over here all right let's see right here have some comfrey growing comfrey like the shade too it grows all over the garden wherever the, the shaded area of the garden you know comfrey does extremely well we have some longevity spinach here growing in this area which i'm going to remove and everything from this area can be doing some work in construction stuff in this area as well right here we have some taro you know these are taro you know our cocoa cocoa yam yeah so I'm gonna be harvesting that pretty soon. You know, there is also a look, look at this uh, sweet potato flowering. You know, it was one of those sweet potatoes harvested last year. I actually just threw the potato out there, it wasn't deliberately planted. And it's vining up, and I just saw these flowers. There's a few flowers in it, too. Yeah, but I'll show you some more. Hold on, let's go around here. Look right here. Multiple flowers. Uh, the sweet potato. So if you've never seen the sweet potato vine push flowers, look at it right here. Beautiful flower. Yep, there's more taro right here. I'm going to be harvesting those soon. Yeah, as well. I'll do videos on that as well. All right, let's, let's walk over to where the ginger is. All right, so this is this is the the turmeric. Let's go largest turmeric is uh, maybe about four feet in height. Let me step back and give you a good view. Beautiful. Yep. And beside the turmeric is. Let me pull this out and show you guys. This is my coffee plant. I probably need to up pot this in in a in a bigger container. Maybe a, a 10 gallon or something like that container and give it some more. Uh, this is, you know, I did a video on that already, the America food. So let's not, yeah, so over the ginger, the ginger starts like dying back a little bit. So maybe it's probably soon, soon time for it to be harvested. Let's look down. In it. it smells, you just walk here and touch the leaf. It smells so good. Look, if you look down here, but like we're gonna have some good roots of ginger. Look, look, looking good. If you look right here, the the flower ginger pushing up a flower. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So the ginger actually flowering this year. There's more ginger right here. You know, you could actually use the the leaves of the ginger too to cook with. You know, give you a similar. I don't think it have that that little bite that ginger has, you know, but it do have a, a nice flavor. The smell, the aroma from it is extremely good. More, oh, let me show you something. Some more, more flow, flow. The ginger is actually flow. And this ginger is the second year ginger, and I'm getting flower from it right now. So, yeah. Let me bring it close, close now. Isn't that cool? There's a few flowers. Look, one, two, three, four, five flower. I see a five, six, six flowers. So the second year ginger, you know, pushing out five flowers. It's cool. Beautiful. Over here more. This is the oh this turmeric look like it's the leaves start. The leaves start browning up. I guess this 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 is ready to harvest out. 
Yeah. I'm excited to see what's in these containers. I could see the ginger though. The ginger has a lot of rhizome pushing up through the soil. But if you're growing this in ground, you could leave it and let it die right back and it's gonna grow back the next year and you have a bigger, bigger rhizome the following year. Yeah. All right. Right here is my, my, my Mesora, my sore raspberry. You know, I got only a few fruits, you know, you know, so it, I'm going to probably, it's in a container. I'm going to take it out the container, actually put it in ground. And I know it's probably going to just take off. The only part of this, I got to put it somewhere where it's away from, it have some real thorns here. Yeah, that kind of look dangerous. So. I'm going to move it to an ear where, you know, it's not an ear that I got to walk through regularly. Yep. This was that white guava. Got a bunch of different stuff in this, in this container. It's all katuk, ginger, you know, ginger herbs. This is lipia alba, real good herb. Yeah. Right here, I got a tea plant. This has been growing so slow. I, I don't... I'm trying to figure out what what it's gonna like. This is let me see green tea. This is a green tea plant. Yep. Let me see. This is I forget what this is. A ch I think a chai, a chai, a chai. I think that is what this is. I think so. Goes very slow. Yeah, the banana era always productive. Nice rack. A banana is so you see this one fruiting so the next one probably gonna be this over here I threw some pink guava seeds yeah here and they're all sprouting so that so I'm gonna once they grow up more I will transplant them into smaller containers too and so this is a pink guava here and the white guava all right over here this is a cutting from the Barbados cherry. Yeah, so that's looking good. I'm, I did this for my sister. You know, I have a sister in Texas that I'm going to be sending that tree to. Yeah, all right. Over here, I think that's a canistel. Canistel, canistel, canistel. I think this is a black sapote. Yeah, because the leaves look different. Yeah, it's a black sapote. Here, over in this corner is a pineapple guava thing. When it's ready to fruit, it will. Bunch of longevity spinach here makes a great ground cover. And this container here is, let me see, this is a Ecuador Palora dragon fruit, a yellow dragon fruit. This is one I got from Thurf Therapy. Yeah, look, how, look, look at it. I'm gonna be, you know, building a trellis system in a container to put this in. So, you know, you, you'll see this in a different container in a few. You know, I'm gonna do that pretty soon. You know, like probably this week, actually. All right, let's go through here. All right, right here is a uh, green sugar apple from seed that I grew from seed. Yeah. And the leafy greens over there. And this was a pineapple that produced pineapple this year. But then it have a... See, it have a, 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 a little sucker on the side right here. So that's why I didn't remove it. Yep. Right, these are the moringa. Yeah. Yep. I go over here. This is my rainforest plum. I just up pot this in in a in a bigger container over the weekend. Uh, East Indian mango from seed. I have a blackberry. I have a blackberry over here. It's thornless blackberry, which is in a container, but I'm gonna also remove that other container this week yep this is a mexican sunflower 
They really growing this for a chop and drop biomass for the garden. Yep. If you look over here, we got another banana right here. I don't even know what variety, okay? That doesn't look like a Namwa. Yeah, I guess I'll figure that out. So there's another banana right here. And if you look, if you look up here, guys, I've been chopping, doing a lot of chop and drop in the garden, you know, to open airflow right through the, the, the garden. So I've been chopping bananas, everything. Yeah, and this is what I do with it. It's all around fruit trees. Yep, this is my fertilizer here in the garden. Chop and drop around every single fruit tree. You know, compost here. Yeah, it's just leaves, grass cuttings, cardboard. I just leave it there. I don't turn it or nothing. I just leave it. Let it just patience. It will will do its thing. Yep. We got a mulberry here. This is a Maui mulberry right here katuk over here but look at look at the size of the the hog plum or mobane so swell or her so yeah look how big it is yep oh let me show you guys something else all right oh all right this tree is a june plum june plum grown from seed yep so i got two of them right here and look how big it's, it's it, it is beautiful tree beautiful beautiful tree yep this is black turmeric i plant ingrown which i'm not going to harvest nothing from this it doesn't grow die back and regrow again yep right here's another green sugar apple yep this is you know star fruit Suriname cherry. Yep. Over here is a uh, Gumbichama Brazilian black cherry right here. That started. The, one other thing I would advise you when you go to nurse, I bought this from a nursery, a local nursery. And what I'm learning, when you go to nurseries, look, don't try to get the biggest tree, get the smallest tree. I think they acclimate better to your, your, your yard over a period of time. This was a big tree at the nursery and it was root bound. And I was like, okay, I could, I could deal with it. Yeah. And I had was to cut out the roots. You know, I just leave a few roots planted in the ground and nurse it back. So now it's coming back now and start pushing out all this new growth and it's looking a lot better. Yeah. The only thing I realized when you buy trees from nursery, they require watering. The trees that are planted from seed are planted real young, require no watering during our dry season. This tree, nursery, I got it all from a nursery, require watering on a regular. All right, let's walk around here. All right, this is a Pakistan in mulberry. Guys, look at the leaf. All right, don't be alarmed if you have a Pakistan or mulberry and you see the leaves start getting this rusted look. Nothing wrong with the tree, just that time of the year. Fall, you know, the leaves start changing into, you know, all of, it like some disease or something. It's nothing. Don't go trying to start getting panic about your tree. It's perfectly fine, okay? All right, let's go through here. The mangoes here. It's a low quad. I grew, grew from seed. Hopefully, maybe this year I may get. Yeah, this year. This then the year going into new. I may get fruits from this. This year, the moringa is up here. I need to cut that also. Right here is another, you know, June plum that I grew from seed. I think it's time for me to come. I'm probably gonna prune it about here. Prune, prune it here and let it push out new growth again. Yep. Yeah. Look, look, look healthy. Uh, growing extremely good. And look, this is a sugar apple right here, guys. I thought it was dead. 
and it actually, but I decided I wasn't going to pull it out of the ground, so I just cut the top off, and look, it's pushing new growth right here, that's good. Let's go through here, more comfort right here. This is the everberry mulberry, so the leaves are falling off, so that's, that's normal, yeah. Yep, all right, let's, let's walk around here. All right, over here is the Jamaican cherry. I just recently pruned it back, like hard. I did a hard prune in it, guys. And since I pruned it back, look at the blooms. It's loaded with blooms. It even have, look at this nice fat cherry. Juicy, let's get, it. let me get it. Good. This is loaded with vitamin C. This is Barbados cherry or Acerola cherry. Yeah, so I'm gonna be having a lot of fruits in a few weeks. Yep. Delicious. I'm gonna actually let the kids eat this. So right here is another uh, green sugar apple. I'm growing up with like six or seven green sugar apples. I love the fruit, so I'm growing a lot of that. Yep. This is a pickering mango right here. Yep. And this is the, the Kerry. Let me see. This is the, 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 the Kerry mango right here. Put on a lot of new growth as well. Big, huge pineapple right here. Probably going to get fruit from that soon. This is my canistel. Yeah, Bru I think this is a Bruce. Yeah, can is still egg fruit Bruce. And if you see right here, there's some little blooms right there. I have about four of them. I don't know if it's gonna hold. There's more, more right here. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, and what I did was, because the Barbie cherry was so close, that's one of the reasons I kinda chopped it out, you know, pruned it back to give more light to the can still. Yep. And then the ever growing, always the Matinga tree. Look how large it is, guys. But it makes a good shade for certain part of the garden. So it's all right for this back part of it. One of the things with the food forest is you still have to maintain where you want sunlight coming in for certain trees. You know, and young fruit trees get shade. So you have to kind of know what you're doing with certain trees. You know, and you see right here, look, chop and drop. This is my fertilizer. Fruit trees don't need all that stuff you guys think it needs. Chop, drop, biomass, your fruit trees are perfectly okay. Yep, needs nothing else. Same, look at my mango right here. Chop and drop. That's all it is. Look right here again. Chop and drop. Yep. So when I do my fall cleanup in the garden, so all I do is go back here. The ackee tree, it's growing nice. Same thing here, chop and drop. Yeah, let's get through here. Chop and drop, recently cleaned up. Another banana here. There's another swell or hog plum here. This is another guava. Guava tree right here. The big pigeon peas is right here. There's more pigeon peas back there. I'll have to show you that. Right. There's a coconut right here. Let's go to one right here again. This is another, you know, hog plum or suela or what, mobin, whatever you call it. Yep, yeah, right here. Yep. I recently put some lemongrass on this side. This is a lemon. I, maybe it's a lemon. It's a, it was a, you know, I bought a lemon from the store, planted the seed. You know, it's, it, it's been growing in a container. I just put it in ground a few days ago. You know, so this is a citrus, one of the f few citrus I have here growing. Not a mango here. I think this is a, what is this? Fairchild mango right here. Over here is a, this is, I numbed that mine, which I pruned it right back with a with a carry graph on it right here. Yep. 
So I put it right back so you guys see it looking right now. Look at it in a few months. You'll be surprised to see the growth. All right, over here is a bunch of seedling. Got jackfruit seedling right here. Yeah. Over here, we have more jackfruit seedling right here. Yeah. These are some seedling of, what are these again? Tam tamarello, the, the tree tomato. This is a blackberry jam fruit seedling. This is a peanut butter fruit seedling. This is a peanut butter fruit seedling. This is a key kai apple, K E I apple seedling. This is a pineapple guava seedling. So you have a bunch of seedlings. Then I have this curry star fruit right here. A lot of blooms and stuff. But this, this barely grew. For some reason and i think i'm gonna remove it here i don't know it probably don't like the full the direct sun put in an ear that get partial shade and see if that that actually helps all right all right let's 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 walk around can estelle egg fruit seedling right here this is a pineapple guava still waiting for fruits come on pineapple guava yeah seedling Yep, and look, while I'm in the garden, this is what you see every day. You see the snake? It's a black racer. You know, I kind of get used to black racer. Good, good snake in the garden. I know a lot of you get scared of snakes. Yeah, but they go after the bad snakes and the rodents or any of that stuff in the garden. So there's a plus side. You see, it's going up the tree. Let's see if you can see. It's going right up, right up, right up. Yep. <laughs> they, 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 they try to be extra friendly too in the garden. Yep. Then this is this is a, the the that guava. Yeah. This is a snake right here, but let's forget about the snake for now. All right, this is that guava that produced tons of fruit. This fruited from January right until yeah, you know, and it's still fruiting. It's still fruit right right now where it's that's the snake is. Yeah. It's still fruiting. Yep. Yeah, so and it's still there's still blooms pushing off. If you look up here you see, look. Still, so it's been fruiting all year. It's been fruiting. And then over in that corner is the everbearing mulberry, which I'm gonna prune back. And prune back that hard pretty soon as well. Yep. All right, guys, so that was just a tour of uh, you know, what's going on in, in the garden. I hope you guys, guys enjoy the video. Yeah, and thank you all for always supporting my video. Thank you for all the amazing comments. I love seeing when you guys are commenting in the video because once you comment, it's, you know, I, I feel like interaction. You know, I like feel like connection with, with you know, the people you know, that actually watches the video. So thank you so much and want well, you guys to have an amazing day or amazing week whenever this is released all be blessed with peace love kindness and happiness one love